Hello and welcome back everybody to another YouTube video. In this video I will explain and solve problem set 3, Philippe's Takaria. In this problem we want to implement a program that enables a user to place an order prompting them for items one per line until the user inputs control D. After each inputted item we also should display the total cost of all items inputted thus far prefix it with a dollar sign so the the problem also gives us a dictionary with all the food or all the items and the equivalent price as the, the value so let me copy and paste it let's call the dictionary food menu for example And since we are going to ask the user for an item until the user uh, inputs control D, let's actually make a while loop. And to detect if the user has inputted control D, we will use try and accept as follows. Let's try, let's uh, take the item from the user and the exception will be e o f error so print should be enough because print uh, if you recall uh, after it uh, after the function evaluates it automatically prints a new line so now we have handled the control D. Let's continue our program. Yeah, but let's uh, also break after the user inputs control D because that's when when we are going to end our program. And let's continue. Now we have an item input from the user. So we want to check if this item is in our dictionary. So if item in food menu, then I mm, there is something missing. Yeah, we want to output price. So let's make a variable called total, for example, and let's initiated with a, a zero and we will keep adding values to the total variable whenever the user inputs uh, an item from the food menu so here we check the item that the item that the user inputted is in our dictionary so what next uh, let's add the price to the total variable and to access the value the key the value of a key in a dictionary we will do this menu and the key which is item okay now we added the value to the total variable so yeah let's print it here so print total and okay great mm, let me see I think this works but yeah in the, the problem uh, it mentioned that uh, it should be case insensitive so and since our dictionary is uh, is title cased so let's force the item to be title cased as well and we can use the title method for this I think this should be enough let's try out some examples okay let me clear the screen first clear 
and let's run again let's uh, also put a message here item okay now let's run item mm, okay that's working but not as the problem says okay let's try just to see if the logic works nice that's working let's uh, test if we for example put all lower case that's also working so I think we have pretty much done everything except for one final step and I will tell you in a second so in the problem we should add a dollar sign to the left of our uh, so to lift our number so uh, for example here it should there should be a dollar sign here before the num before number one so for this let's actually add it here the dollar sign okay let's test again clear the screen okay let's try again Mm, there is space between them yeah but if you recall we can simply fix this like that let's try again clear yeah let's try again Okay, that's that's really good. We added the dollar sign, but there is still something missing. In the problem, there is two actually there is actually two zeros after the decimal point. So in order to format the total in this way, we can use the if string like this. I think but uh, give me a second let me check if that's correct I think there's something missing here hmm yeah there is a no not it's actually 2f and yeah I think I think that that's it but let me try let me try and see clear okay let's try once more time and see if the format uh, is correct okay nice I think we pretty much done everything needed but uh, let's actually test if I for example um, inputted cat for example which is not in our dictionary so let's see what happens here Okay, it prompts me. It it prompts me again for item. So uh, if you don't know why this that's the case, let me show you where this happens. So if the item is in the food menu, this code will evaluate. Otherwise, we will iterate another loop. So if uh, if the item, for example, cat is not in food menu, the the code will just the while loop will just start again. So I think everything is explained. Yeah. So if you have any question, leave a comment down below. And uh, that's it. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for upcoming videos. Thank you.